Hi everyone, today's video will be on how to do titrations for paper 3. This video will cover the procedures of titration and how to tabulate the data, along with some tips and tricks along the way. The first step is to weigh the sample of FA1 and its container. Don't forget to put the weighing scale on tear and wait a few seconds for the balance to stop wavering before you record the mass. Then, tip the FA1 into the 250cm cube beaker, reweigh the container, including any residual FA1, and record its mass. You may draw a table like I did here and use it to calculate the mass of FA1 by subtracting the two masses that were recorded before. Preparing the solution. First, add approximately 200 cm cube of distilled water to the beaker and stir until the FA1 has dissolved. Be sure to stir until the solution is completely clear. Pour the contents carefully into the 250 cm cube volumetric flask and use a funnel to prevent any spillage. Then, rinse the contents of the beaker with a little distilled water and fill the flask to the line with it along with more distilled water and shake thoroughly. Then, label the solution FA4 and don't forget to close the volumetric flask with a lid to prevent it from oxidizing, which can cause an alteration to our results. The first step in titration is to fill the burette with FA2. When doing this, don't forget to close the burette and you can also place a beaker below it to prevent spillage. For accurate titrations, the bottom of the burette should be filled as well. Next, pipe a 25cm cube of FA4 into the conical flask. Then, use the 25cm cube measuring cylinder to add 15cm cube of FA3 into the conical flask. To get accurate results, the measuring cylinder should be viewed at eye level and the bottom of the meniscus should be at the 15cm cube mark. So now we've got the FA2 filled in the burette and a solution of FA3 and FA4 in the conical flask. Now for the rough titer, add FA2 from the burette until the solution in the flask turns into a permanent pink. Do not do this drop by drop. Instead, let FA2 flow until color change is seen. This can be done with your dominant hand used to stir or shake the conical flask and your less dominant hand for controlling the burette. Similarly, do a first and second accurate titer. If my rough titer was 19.6 cm cube, I would let FA2 flow until 15 cm cube and then FA2 is added drop by drop until I see a color change. These were my results. If the first two accurate titers have a difference of more than 0.2 cm cube, it is required to do a third accurate titer. And then select your titration results that are 0.1 cm cube apart or have the smallest difference. And that is how you perform titrations. Thank you for watching.